So we've got a tank full of lovely, healthy fish in here. Yes, um, Dean's been keeping it very healthy. Yeah, they look got very some nice. Up the top. But you, your light might look a bit damp because to see the lids really need cleaning. Oh right. Seal this. Um, Put them in the dishwasher. They need I've got cleaning. a dishwasher in my new house. Sure. So, and then we've got all this duckweed oh, that right, right. is that going to stop the um, yeah. oxygen going through. But yeah, fish are a little bit fat, but they're very... Oh, have, am I overfeeding them? Just a tad. Well, so, but they I look really away, good. I was away for a month and there was an automatic feeder in, on it. Oh, that might do so it. That could have, but now I feed them on Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday and Thursday. And so what do you feed them? So you've got... Oh, okay. See how you got your food open? Yeah. We, we never, never, never want to see that. Oh, really? Because see, see this food, this is pretty much the best food you can get. This is yeah, Danichi. Yeah. But if, Dean brought it. if you go leaving the lid open, then all the vitamins get oxidized out. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, all right. I'll so, remember that. Maybe I could find a jar to put them in. Oh, yeah. Or just keep it shut. Just got to... Oh, there's a seal yeah, there. Yeah, there's a seal there. Just oh, keep that oh, shut. Oh, yeah, yeah. What else have I got? You can... Feel free to throw out anything that you don't think is relevant anymore. Sure. Uh, but, for example, I need to take the automatic feeder the next time I go on holidays. So if you do choose to have floating plant in your aquarium, you've really got to thin it out on a regular basis. Otherwise, it'll end up choking the light. So you've got to go and scoopy scoopy a whole lot out on a regular basis or it'll take over your tank and when you do remove this from the water you are removing all the nutrients so this duckweed effectively becomes part of your filtration strategy because all that nutrient gets exported out of the aquarium perfect chuck it in the garden as long as it never makes it to a natural waterway because this stuff can choke up natural waterways just like it can choke up the top of your aquarium. So this aquarium has an Aqua L Leddy light on it. Um, I'm a big fan of these lights. They're really nice lights. They're waterproof lights. But it is important that you keep your lids clean and you don't let your floating plants overrun the aquarium. Otherwise, the intensity and spectrum of the light will be greatly reduced. The light needs to be able to penetrate the aquarium in order to deliver the correct intensity and spectrum. A beautiful tank, and it is not too heavily populated, which makes it easier to maintain. If you end up putting more fish in, you find it's more effort to maintain. Very busy, very beautiful tank. So whenever you're doing anything major with the aquarium, it's really good just to start with a test. Um, in this case, the ammonia and nitrite is zero, which is good. There's just a little bit of nitrate and phosphate, which is good. But the pH, KH and GH are all too low. So the water change that I do um, is gonna help buff that up a little bit. And I'll raise the GH and KH because I definitely don't want them sitting at zero. Um, I've just given the canister a, a nice clean. It actually wasn't very dirty. And the other thing just to be aware of when doing these sorts of jobs in winter is it's very, very cold today. So I'm gonna try to keep as much of the water as possible because um, I don't wanna shock the fish um, by introducing too much cold water. Now, if you ever notice this black algae growing all over your plants, then you want to start dosing the aquarium with something like Carbomax or Flourish Excel. And then the um, organic carbon should be able to favor the plant over the algae. And you'll find that you should be able to get on top of this algae by slowly increasing your dose rate. So dosing Flourish Excel or similar as an organic carbon product and making sure that you have some sort of fertilizer if you notice your leaves going yellow at all, then something like Flourish, that would be a perfect product to um, make sure these leaves stay nice and green and they don't get overrun by blackbeard algae. You also gotta be aware when doing these sorts of jobs that when you're uprooting the tank like this, um, lots of babies become exposed. 
So you just need to be aware of those little babies to try to look after them. Because some people are very precious about their little babies. You don't want them getting eaten by the other fish or getting injured during a uh, relocation like this. Now, whenever you're doing a job like this, I really recommend just putting at least half a centimeter of water in the bottom of your um, tubs that you're gonna move any decorations because it's so common that a little baby fish or a catfish jumps out of one of the rocks that you didn't see when you pulled it out. And even that tiny bit of water in the bottom can be enough to allow them to survive. Lots of babies are big fan of having backup filters. In this case, we have a Aqua L Turbo filter, which is a real favorite filter of mine. Um, you can see that I've given it a clean, so a lot of craps come out of this filter. I've given the impeller a clean inside the head. I've cleaned the biological media, and this sponge is pretty much ready for replacing. Over a period of time, the sponges do break down. So when you start seeing them implode like this, I do like you to think about replacing the sponge, but it's not something I'll do until I see it's actually started to break down, like in this case. No matter how much you look in a job like this, you gotta be very careful not to miss any fish because you can totally swear that you've combed the whole thing to make sure that you've got any little baby fish or anything out and you can very easily miss one. So you wanna take a bit of time, try and make sure that you've got everybody, because you don't wanna let anyone behind. And you'll notice that what I've done here is I've put just a little bit of water in the bottom of these foam boxes. I want just enough water to cover the fish so when they swim around, they can agitate the surface. I don't want a big thick thing of water. And then I've removed as much water as practical. I'm taking everything out. And then I'll just finish draining the tank once I'm confident there's no more fish in here and give the tank a clean up and get it ready for the move. So I'm just giving the tank a bit of a clean up. And one thing I highly recommend every single person gets is a flipper. And a flipper is just a magnet. It's got a razor blade on it. It is the absolute best thing for giving the tank a bit of a clean. So I'd be looking at investing in a flipper ASAP if this was my tank because it really aids making it easy to have a nice clean tank when you've got a flipper, which gets the job done very quickly and efficiently. What I'm doing is siphoning out the very bottom of the water and I'm stirring the hell out of the gravel at the same time. So I'm actually giving the gravel a bit of a clean and this water drum will be perfect for the garden because it'll be full of nutrients that we've exported from the tank and hopefully made the gravel a lot cleaner than it was.